now from the Sports Blitz Studio, Ashley Gonzalez and Chris Thomason. Well, I am still super hot. We got our refreshers. <laughs> you got your refreshers. In here. I cannot wait to step outside though, Chris, but we've got more highlights. Take it away. All right, let's get to it. Let's get this thing in the back. <laughs> Heavenville facing Skidmore Tyne and the Horns unbeaten on the year. Skidmore also competing for a playoff spot though. Here, Heavenville, the play action, the quick toss to Eden Perez, and he's eventually brought down Thought he was going to take it the distance, but yeah. close enough because here Brandon Salazar. Now he also is not going to punch it in, but he would get it down to the one. And Salazar, the big run here, he would eventually get it in on the next play. So the Longhorns take the early lead on the home turf. But Skidmore here going through the air. Sonny Man, he avoids the sack and then Ooh. finds his man. Bobcats on the board at 7 7, or actually made it 7 to 6. But then here, Heavenville oh. now going through the air. Nate Garza hooking up with Sammy Cadena. And then it's Salazar. Give it to the big man. Feed him. They go up 14 <laughs> to 6. Let's take a look. Heavenville now 8 and 0 on the oh, year. They get the 43 12 win over Skidmore. Yo, side note, those jerseys are super dope. Uh, anyway, yes, Monte Alto Blue Devils at Odom playing the Owls. Now this is their homecoming, but to start off, Odom with the handoff to number nine, Marcus Martinez, who brings it in for the Owls. Touchdown, six zip Owls. The field goal was no bueno, my friend. Judging by the camera, looks like maybe a little wet out there in Odom as well. Oh Same everywhere tonight. That's why you got to have your, your handkerchief. I know that's a Thing. I promise it's a thing. Then Montalvo with the kick on fourth. Owls number nine, Marcus Martinez again grabs it and then bounces. Y'all says adios amigos. But, but, Chris, there is a but. Guess what, man? There was a flag Some on yellow. the play. Yes, but that was so I gnarly. Oh okay. my gosh. Yes, fly on play for illegal block for the receiving team, but it's okay. They do redeem themselves though. Took Ain't a play no of the week off the board though. It sure did. It sure did. Look, look at all that. Yep. It happens. We don't like that. But like I said, they do redeem themselves. It ain't no problem. Owls number seven, Hunter Dawson to number 30. Mark Moreno, touchdown 13 zip. Yes, they missed, they missed the field goal again. But you know what? It is what it is. Take a look at that final. If it, oh, nope. Oh okay, my well, I, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty confident that one, if it is gonna get finished, if, or if it doesn't, either way, Al's got this one it, in the bag. Safe to say. Hey, 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 hey! Relax with that, Chris. <laughs> All right, let's get up to <laughs> Taft. This game did not involve Taft, but had to be moved to Taft. Lock in. <laughs> it was their homecoming on the road. Only team to have to play homecoming on the road, I'm pretty sure. But here, Ooh. it's the Jerseys coming up with the stop on fourth down. Foul Furious, Coach Garcia. Hey, his crew getting to the stop there, but they would be held in the next London Drive. Ace Navarrijo getting the screen to Mason Jacob. He's going to go all the way to the house. He gone for the Play of the Week nominee. Ooh. London going up on the homecoming away from home turf. Seven to nothing. It just makes the touchdowns cooler when they have those really dope socks. It Keep does. It, it does. The pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But here, Navarrio is going to be oh. brought down. Val Furious with the sack. Derek Villarreal for the jerseys. But here, foul on the but. punt. And oh, it just goes all kinds of wrong. It is blocked by the Pirates, and they take advantage. Mason Arispe going to punch it in. London. I don't think it's gone final. I don't know. Let's take a look Let's at the score. Hey, yeah, oh, they yay! got to finish it. This one was delayed, but 27 nothing Pirates still unbeaten on the season. That's like three games out of our, what, 12 tonight? Something like that. OMG. Something ridiculous. Yes, then the Austin Hyde Park Panthers over at St. John Paul II. Now, GP is coming off a big win from last week. So, off the top, John Paul with the QB keeper, number four, Aiden Olvio on fourth and gets the fourth down. We love that. Then GP QB with the handoff to number 22, Elijah Allen, who breaks the tackle and lands the Centurions on the, well, within the 20 yard line. And then it's number two, Chance Didman, who finishes the job. Kick was Gucci, seven zip, St. John Pont, the second with some of those uh, points. Then later, oh, no. I know, John Paul, it's okay, it's okay. John Paul II, defense completely shuts down the Hyde Park Panthers on fourth, number 54 with that takedown. 
John Paul's ball. Then up next, John Paul, John Paul, Elijah Allen at it again, like I said, finishing off the half with a nice, 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 nice little, yeah, yeah, get you some. Touchdown, 13 zip, lead over the Panthers. Let's take a look at that final. I don't even know. No, the oh last my goal goodness. we had, 13 nothing, right. John Paul. So that is uh, what, that's, the, that's the score we had when TBD, I took off. TBD, yep, look, just look. like everything else. Hey, good, great shot there you got of the uh, Lightning tonight. I'm telling you, I get very distracted. Uh, I'm not, I was not kidding. Yeah. Right? Wasn't that beautiful? All right, well, we've got plenty more play of the week coming up and the marching scoreboard kind of. Again, we'll see what finals we have in it. Your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> but we'll see you after the break. Just come back.